speaking of neurosurgery, let's go back to the history about it. Can you give us a brief overview of how the, the neurosurgery as a domain, as a science started? And can you take us also to the particularities of Dr. Penfield, as he's very big in Canada? I'd like to know a bit about, uh, about his contribution to the field. Absolutely. So this is a very interesting question. And I think neurosurgery is one of the most exciting fields in, in medicine. It's actually a very young specialty. It has only been in existence for less than 100 years. So back in the 1800s, you know, there were no quote-unquote neurosurgeons. So Dr. Penfield was actually born, born in 1891, and he got some of his training in the U.S. He came to Canada and practiced here in Montreal, where he developed essentially a huge center that is now known as the Montreal Neurologic Institute, where he did a lot of research. And he is very well known for his research on certain functionings of the brain. I think we briefly touched upon this earlier with the what we call the homunculus or the mapping of the brain, if you will, especially mapping of the cortex on the brain, the surface of the brain. And there's also some research done on memory that is quite interesting too. There's actually a famous patient that Dr. Penfield has treated, or famous at least in the medical journals, called patient HM. So HM is the name of this famous patient. He's known by his initials. HM was treated for epilepsy or seizures by Dr. Penfield, and he was cured. What Dr. Penfield did is he removed HM's hippocampi on both sides. But the side effect of the surgery was that this patient could no longer make new memories. Okay. So every day he would wake up and it would be like the day before never happened. If he met somebody, he wouldn't remember them. If he had a conversation, he wouldn't remember. He didn't know what he ate. And in fact, he couldn't even make new memories immediately. So you would meet him and say, hi, my name is Joe. Five minutes later, you'd meet him again. You'd have to introduce yourself again. So a very interesting phenomenon happened with that patient, and this helped us map parts of the brain. So some of the discoveries that were done by Dr. Penford were revolutionary. And not only that, certain techniques in surgeries are named after him. Certain instruments are used, are named after him. In fact, the instruments that we use most commonly in surgery are the Penfield dissectors. Oh. And there's Penfield 1, 2, 3, and 4 dissectors that we use awesome. in surgery. So really there's a huge legacy that Dr. Penfield has left us with since he left here in uh, Montreal, basically. But was he the first neurosur neurosurgeon or...? So, Montreal or the universities here, McGill University, claims that Dr. Penfield is the first neurosurgeons in Canada. Okay. Of course, Toronto claims somebody else, uh, but that's how that's how it you is. know. There's always a quarrel between Montreal and Toronto. Yeah. 